everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and today i have my beautiful baby cousin with me that i have forced to do <laughs> to sit in my chair today um she loves makeup and uh, i think nails and makeup as well uh, and i remember her as a kid she used to be the most perfect like you should put the most perfect lipstick yourself and you used to just be like don't don't do it i'll do it myself <laughs> Uh, so I'm very excited about doing this and I know a lot of you have been requesting for makeup on young girls. She's just 14 years old right now. Uh, she, oh sorry, she's 14, 15. And she's a baby right now but she's a teenager. So I also want to show you guys how we would have some fun. Um, if you were to do makeup on a teenager, it should be playful and nothing that's too, too much I feel or making them look like adults. I feel like they should still look like kids but they can have some fun with makeup as well. Um, so I'm going to start off by using this co-natural oxygen water and spraying it all over her face. Um, as you guys have already watched her mother's video by now, I know. Her mom was the first person who really introduced me to how I should do my makeup because she was my cool khala. And she was, I mean, everybody else just kept telling me off on wearing like very goth makeup. And your mom, you know, was the first person who sat me down and was like, okay, makeup can make you look good. And makeup should be like softer and simpler because I used to put so much of it on and nobody used to tell me what to do with it. So this is like life coming full circle that I'm doing your makeup or her and her brother, Mahi, is, this is Mahi Noor, and her brother Rustam. Whenever they come to spend the night with me, I put like treatments in their hair and I'll make them put masks on and I'll comb their hair. So I love doing all of that. So life does really come full circle. Um, so here I'm going to use the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. She's got baby skin. Um, at this particular age, their skin is so uh, beautiful already. It's very, um, you know, uh, it doesn't really require much uh, foundation, etc. And there's nothing worse than when I see little girls wearing too much makeup or too much foundation. It should be soft and like, like I said, even today we're going to do a slightly not heavier but more fun look on her uh, but it's still gonna read innocent and you know fun it shouldn't read like a kid is trying to be older you know so I've just kind of massaged that even though at this age all you want to be is older and be like I wish I didn't have to listen to everybody telling me things um, so yeah we're gonna massage that nicely into her skin and I'm going to start with her eye. Now just like my aunt because we are Pathans from my Nana's side and he has a lot of these uh, we have a lot of these kind of eyes and features and they're almost like like I feel they could be in the Afghani uh, kind of uh, features that you see and I feel you know my Khala and her both have these upturned kind of eyes the hood is slightly heavier so I want to play on that. So I'm going to take some Born This Way concealer in light and I'm going to brush that on her lid. Um, I don't like young girls doing their eyebrows very much so I haven't tried to pluck or shape her brow. I want to work with her natural brow. I think the bushiness of a natural brow for a younger girl looks lovely. So I don't really like very like made up brows uh, on young girls so I feel like they should just keep them the way they are and then we can feather them out, brush them out and make them seem and now as it is you know natural brows, feathery brows are in so kids can really work with that but I'm not a fan of getting plucking done and shaping done too early. So I'm just brushing the, those brows up and I've covered it with a concealer. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply a very light dusting of my dip down with an eyeshadow brush, the gel eyeliner. Close my hair but very lightly. I'm just giving a very soft base. It looks straight. Soft dusting here. Of that, now I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty Nude palette here and I'm gonna use Teddy eyeshadow here. Softly. So very softly, I'm going to just diffuse that on the lid. Um, again, with her kind of an eye, if I structure it too much, open my hair. Uh, and if you look straight into the camera, you'll notice when she's looking directly into the camera that the lid, you can see less of the lid. So if you make too much structure on the lid, it won't show when he, she opens her eye. So we want to focus any color, any fun you want to have on an eye like this, 
on the lower lash line and not on top of the eye. On top of the eye, we're going to keep things slightly more diffused. Band karna upper se. So I'm just softly blending that shadow. So just softly blend away. And now I'm going to apply my gel eyeliner inside her eye. Open, look up. She's got a brown eye, which will get highlighted with the fact that she has that kajal in her eye. And I feel when you're younger, kajal is a great way of just adding a little drama without it looking like it's too much. So just blink, blink, blink. Now I'm going to go back in with a pencil brush and take that teddy eye shadow again. Up ahi. And blend it under her eye as well. <laughs> You're like, what's happening? <laughs> and I'm going to yeah. take the same, this color called Raw from the same pal palette. And now next to her lash line, I'm just going to go back and forth with this color. Open. So we're just going to blend that onto her lid. She doesn't wear makeup, so... Look up. I think this is the first time you're going to have a lot of stuff on your face that yeah. ever, right? Otherwise, she doesn't wear makeup, which I love. Because I think kids should not wear makeup for the longest, I mean, as long as they can avoid it till they have to. Look up again, sweetie. Down. Up again. In the middle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. It's okay. So, in the middle. There's a little slightly scary process of curling lashes. I've curled spoon. lashes before. You have? Yeah. I, I've done your makeup once, I think, for your what? What was it? Was it dance or something? I don't know. I think it was like. Me and Sabrina cried when you walked in. You were like, oh my god, Mahi has come to get makeup done. So now I'm going to take some of Max, a natural flirt eyeshadows, and I'm going to apply it in her inner corner. So I'm just going to blend that in the inner corner, right? And now I'm going to go back in with this palette and take Daydream and Crave close and apply that in the center of her lid. So I'm just blending those two colors. And I'm taking it all the way almost to her brow because like I said, you don't want to structure her eye too much, this kind of eye shape. And if I go higher, open in my look straight. Now you can see the color even when her eye is open. If I just keep to her lid, when she opens her eye, it'll disappear. But when she opens her eye, if I put it higher, then you can still see the color. Close again. So I'm blending it with this blending brush, right? It's like a pink tone. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply lash. So I'm taking Zoosh S4 and I'm just going to first try it on her eyes. Look down, Mahi. Open. Down again. So I'm going to cut it a bit. This style is quite natural looking. And again, if you're going to put a lash on a young girl, you want to make sure it looks as natural as possible. And you don't want it to be like a very heavy lash because again, that can go into a uh, territory where kids are start looking like they're trying to be adults um, as opposed to just kids having some fun with makeup. So I'm using some of my Huda Beauty Lash Glue in dark. So you're going to stabilize your eye. She's never done this before. So this is what you have to do. You have to keep looking down till I stabilize and then you can blink slowly when I tell you. Just applying it first. Blink softly. But don't, no, not like that, that's not softly. So just, my don't uh, close your eye. Okay. Just, uh, you're going to blink very softly. Blink, 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 yeah. But no closing of the eye. So even for everybody else, it's the first time she's ever had lashes put. Open. Down again. So you have to tell anyone you're applying a lash to that if they press their eye together right after you apply the lash or even after, then the lash starts to move. Look down again. Just gonna wait for this to attach. Now we're gonna do the same with the 
next uh, the other eye and you weren't so bad Mahi even though it was your first try yes I've had people who get it done all the time have more trouble so that was great but you're not going to so when I put the lash the one thing you're not going to do is this okay, okay so you can so just blink you can blink softly just applying it letting it dry a bit look down again Mahi taking my time making sure it's attaching to her lid so now I'm going to take a wet pad and I'm just going to take any fallout of her eye up again my hair right and now I'm going to take some of my brown eyeliner and I'm going to create a line and you're not going to look up till I tell you all right to just cover the strip you can blink just don't look up don't look up down and down to so no looking up till I tell you and I'm gonna take some of my sketch eyeshadow by MAC and just buff this line a little bit very softly and I'm using my Inglot Dennis brush Taking some more with a pencil brush now, close. Actually, just keep looking down. And I'm just going back and forth on that line there. And I'm gonna take the same sketch and also apply it, look up. Under her eye a little bit three quarters not all the way till the inner corner and now I'm going to take some of the daydream here eyeshadow look up and I'm going to just apply it under her eye but in the center this has like a pink tinge to it look up again and then I'm just going to go back in with my black track gel eyeliner just to darken that a little bit Look up my head. So now while we let her eyes settle in a bit because I've done quite a bit so I don't want her to tear again. Just keep taking deep breaths. Are we going to take a wipe and wipe her face? Up again. On baby skin like this, I'm going to take some of my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector with the liquid and I'm going to take a pump of the Urban Decay 3.5 shade here. I'm going to mix these two, look straight into the camera, you keep looking straight till I tell you, and just apply it all over her face. And I'm going to use my fingers to kind of blend this in because the warmth of my hand will also help. Now look here, Mahi, for a minute, Baba. So you want to make sure that you're kind of letting the heat from your fingers help absorb this completely so that it doesn't look like foundation but more like just a tint. Um, because like I said, I don't want to take away from the fact that she's got really pretty young skin. Look up again. So just under her eye a little bit as well. So I'm just blending that all over her face. Look here, Mahi. Making sure that we're also getting those ears look straight. So again, just going in any areas where I feel requires a little more. Uh, with her age, one doesn't require much. So very softly. And now I'm gonna take my sponge and buff into her face. Look here.
look straight into the mirror. Mirror, I'm saying sorry, camera. <laughs> Up again. So I'm going to take some concealer now in NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm going to take the color Honey and I'm going to go under her eye and I'm using a blending brush here. This is like an Urban Decay eye blending brush but I use it for concealing as well because you want smaller brushes. So very lightly I'm going there wherever I feel a little bit more concealing is needed. We're also going to make sure that towards the sides of the neck, we've also blended in some of the foundation. And as you can see, it's a very soft eye. I haven't tried to change her features uh, or even exaggerate them. It's just to enhance them very softly because she's a little baby right now. So just doing a bit of that. And now I'm taking some dark shape tape in deep and I'm gonna do some soft contours on her. She's got high cheekbones already, so I'm gonna just blend, just turn this way now here, some of that on her cheek. Liquid is better always, I feel, for contouring because it can really merge into the skin and on, on especially someone so young, harsh contouring, I'm very against. So I really would do something <clears throat> soft. Gonna go under the jaw a little bit as well. Right, so now I'm gonna take some stronghold hairspray on my eyebrow brush. It's a trick you guys have seen me do before. I'm taking Osis by Schwarzkopf and I'm gonna use this to kind of feather her eyebrow, which is really in currently and it works for young girls' eyebrows that you don't wanna do or structure too much. So we're just gonna feather that brow. Now I'm gonna add some Becca. Skin Perfecting Highlighter in Opal and I'm just going to apply it towards her cheekbones here. So this higher plane here and then around the eyebrow there. A little bit on the tip of her nose, bow of her lip. I'm just going to blend that. And next I'm going to Pencil in her lip a bit. And I'm using Brick by MAC. Stretch, can you stretch your lip like this? No, you're gonna do keep it like this. Hmm. So I've applied the Just Chilling Lipstick by MAC on her and now I'm just doing darkening the lip line a little bit and merging it with the lipstick and the lip liner is Brick. do a bigger so I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty Pink Sands highlighter palette smile and I'm gonna use the pink tone from that on her cheeks a bit and then I'm gonna take some of the blush that I applied on her lip on a stippling brush a face Mac face stippling brush smile again and I'm going to just dip it on the brush and blend it on her cheek to add some pink there as well now I'm going to go in with my mascara. And we're also going to accentuate that bottom lash. And I'm just going to take some eyebrow powder and I'm going to take a very light toned cork eyeshadow. And just very softly, just on the base here, add very little color just to finish the brow. But I'm not going to paint on top of the brow. We feathered the brow and I think that's good enough. And just at the base here, I'm going to add just a bit. But still keep it very feathery and soft. So 
So I'm gonna put this watermelon glow ultra fine mist right in the end for her. This can be a prep step as well and it can also be a setting spray. Especially for young skin, I want her skin to kind of, you know, melt the makeup and absorb it and not look too heavy. You like it? And I'm gonna just put a spritz of the dewy set Anastasia setting spray as well. So as you can see, this is a soft, fresh look. I wanted to do a bright lip because she's wearing a black and white shirt and I wanted to add that pop of color, but she still looks like soft and dewy. Uh, she still looks like a young girl having some fun with makeup as opposed to, you know, thick lashes and smoky eyes. And I feel all of that tends to bog the face down. Uh, this is a fresh take on how you would do a teenager's makeup. I hope you guys learned something today. I was so excited about doing my baby little cousin's makeup. And please keep liking, sharing, and subscribing. We have a lot more content coming up for you. Keep giving your suggestions. See you very soon.